All right, we are back with another edition of Sundays with Serby. And this week, New York Post sports columnist Steve Serby caught up with giant safety Jason Pinnock for his weekly Q&A. Now, Jason Pinnock went to the great University of Pittsburgh. Steve asked him questions. And now, Pitalum, yours truly, gets to ask Mr. Serby some questions. Steve joins me now. Steve, I have to think that your week just got a lot better because you did a Q&A with a pit guy. And now... I'm going to do a Q&A with you, another pit guy. You, you're surrounded by pit greatness. It's got to make your week better. Yeah, you, uh, you're shamelessly plugging anything to do with pit. I mean, you must, have enjoyed your, you must have enjoyed your time there. I did. I did enjoy my time there. I did. It's a great, it's a great school, great institution. Hail to pit. I did enjoy my time there. But we got to talk about Steve Pinnock. Former fifth-round pick out of pit, as mentioned. He was released by the Jets, then he was immediately picked up by the Giants. And now he has a chance to lock down a starting strong safety position for this upcoming season. So how did he handle being cut by the team that drafted him and making the most of his new opportunity right now? How is he handling that? Well, he, Pinnock was a fifth-round draft choice by the Jets, and um, they cut him, surprisingly, before last season began and uh, before the team meetings. So he went back home to Morristown, where he was staying, obviously, near Florham Park, called his mother. His mother thought he was kidding. It was that much of a surprise to the family. But it was also a surprise to Joe Shane, who pounced and called Mr. Pinnock and invited him over to become a New York Giant. And by 3.30, 3.45, Pinnock was at Quest facility, the Quest training facility, to sign on with the New York football giants. Now, it was humbling, of course, um, especially for a kid who grew up a Jets fan, grew up a Revis fan, another Pittsburgh guy, as you know, Dex, um, a fan of Revis Island, and Pinnock even had Pinnock Island when he played in high school, uh, and it might have been a pit too, uh, for all I know, but um, so... Yes, it was humbling, but Pinnock, to his credit, looks at it as a blessing in disguise. And uh, he, he tells me that it's what you do after adversity that matters, which uh, I remember my old friend Lawrence Taylor at his Hall of Fame enshrinement said the crime is not being knocked down. The crime is not getting back up. So Pinnock has heeded those words from LT, and he's gotten back up. He's gotten back up indeed. And I think, Steve, for people who read this Q&A with Mr. Pinnock, as I did, I think a lot of people are going to come away and say to themselves, this safety is a pretty confident man. So what gives the big blue safety the supreme confidence that he exudes? At least in your Q&A he did. What gives him that confidence? Well, he thinks he's one of the, he can be or will be and it's time for him to be one of the best safeties in the league. Now, he's got a, a fellow safety alongside him in uh, Xavier McKinney, but Pinnock believes he's versatile. He's a former corner, so he's confident in his coverability. He prides himself on being a blitzer, a lethal blitzer, and he can jump. He's got all the, all the physical attributes. He's 6'1", 205 pounds. Uh, we saw what he could do in training camp when he made that one-handed interception that went viral and uh, against the Lions in the preseason game. He had an interception, a TFL, and a PBU. And you know what all those things mean, right, Dex? I do. Really? Could you tell me? Because I have no idea what they mean. I, I, I'm surprised you don't know, but I'm going to let the pit education. See, I see, see what I did there? I'll let the pit education. So, tackles for loss, uh, passes blocked. Uh, what was, did you say another one? I'm sorry. Pass, I forgot pass, wait, wait, wait a minute. Pass breakup. PBU break up, pass me. breakup. Breakup, sorry. R wrong word. You must, but, have, you must have slept through that class. I must have slept through that class. Not skipped, slept through. Skipped. I still got my attendance. Yes. <laughs> but he's also, he's a kid who's, uh, he's motivated by his older brother, Trey, who was a tremendous football player, but had his high school career cut short by a knee, in knee injury. And also by his father, Lewis Pinnock Jr., who played at Indiana University, but never realized his NFL dream. And before games, Jason Pinnock will look on his phone at different tapes that he has of his father playing and of his brother playing, and that gets him going for the game. 
I like that gets him going. I would like to give our viewers this because I think one of the things that stuck out to me, I think it was the last question you asked him, Steve. You asked him which quarterbacks that he would be looking forward to intercepting. And his response, this shows you the confidence here. He said, my whole division. That was his answer. The whole division he's looking forward to intercepting. So if you have any yeah. wonders about the confidence of Jason Pinnock, it was on full display and now, right there. And now Saturday night, yep. our New York Post's Brian Costello reported that Aaron Rodgers will play, although probably very little, in that third preseason game against yep. the Jets, uh, against the Giants. And wouldn't Mr. Pinnock love to pick off Aaron Rodgers? I think he would. I think he definitely would there. We get to see two pick guys in that game. Jason Pinnock is Robin Akanda. Uh, we'll both be in that game. So it would be nice if, if he plays. He was got a little banged up and in the if, last game. So we'll see. If, yeah. he, does, if he does get a pick... I'm yep. going to ask him to sign it to Dexter Henry. Oh, that, I, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. You know what? We, we, Pitt, and I'm sure Jason will do it because, you know, us pick guys, we're very grateful to each other. That, that, that's what we'll do. Very giving and grateful. So I would expect nothing less from Mr. Pinnock there. But, <laughs> well, you are all in. You are all in on Pitt. <laughs> all in on Pitt. All right, everybody, please go check out Steve Serby's Q&A with Jason Pinnock. It's a really good one this week, and he exudes a lot of confidence, like I said, and he's not shy about it at all. I know Steve had a good time doing that. Check that one out. Steve, we will do this again next Sunday as usual. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Thank you, sir. See you, Dex.